George Orwell said, the most effective way to destroy people is to deny and obliterate their understanding of their history. Sadly, the new proposed Australian curriculum for our national school program is doing just that. It is destroying a history by not telling it. It's refusing to acknowledge the fact that we have these strong Christian foundations in our law. Our whole legal system is built on Christian values. Our university systems comes from actual Bible schools and uh, you know, monasteries that were built by the Catholic Church and built by the Protestant Church. And thank God for those early people of faith in England. Our whole health system comes from people of faith. Our whole nation has been built on Judeo-Christian values. If we forget those, we imperil the future, just as George Orwell said. Captain Arthur Phillip, the first governor, was a man of faith. He was speared in a skirmish with indigenous people. The soldiers said, let's go and we will massacre the people. He said, do not do that. I will accept this wound, a fair wound in battle, and I will not exact greater punishment. We are here to make peace. And this was the sense of the early settlers who came to Australia. Yes, there was terrible things. Yes, there was things we regret. But by and large, our nation has this incredible foundation and we should celebrate it. Please send an email to the link below that is taking people's opinions on this new curriculum. Secondly, copy that email, very important, copy that email and then send it to the Prime Minister. Again, you'll see a link below. And please, let's make a difference. We have to get our emails in. We have to let our local members know about this situation. We will not accept it, refuse it. We want to see our history taught in its full, in its entirety. Yes, the good and yes, the bad, but let's make sure we don't leave out the good. God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you.